In this video, we'll explore what SDN is and what is its origin and what are the components and how to make it work and what are the benefits. By end of this video, you will understand why SDN is a game changer for the modern network. SDN is an innovative approach to networking that separates the control plane, which is the decision making part of the network from the data plane, which handles the data forwarding of the network. So traditionally, these functions were tightly integrated to the hardware devices like routers and switches. SDN breaks this dependency, moving the control plane, which is a brain of the network to a centralized software controller. This allows network administrators to manage the entire network via software, making it more agile and programmable. From the research project in late 90s and early 2000, a major milestone came in 2008 when Stanford University introduced the concept of OpenFlow, a protocol that allows STN controllers to communicate with the network devices. OpenFlow laid the foundation for STN to evolve into transformative technology that is today. So to understand what the STN is, STN consists of three major components. So the application layer, this is where network services and applications reside. Example includes firewall, load balancing, and monitoring tools. So the control layer, which is of course the brain, or I can say the heart of STN, it is a centralized controller oversees the network behavior. It translates the application requirements into the instructions for the network. And then is of course the infrastructure layer. This layer includes the physical or virtual network devices that handle data forwarding like switches and routers. The communication between these layers relies on the protocol such as OpenFlow. Applications in the top of the layer sends the requests such as a bandwidth requirement or a security policy to the controller. So what controllers does, which is the brain or heart that I say, the controller processes these requests and determines how the network should respond. Finally, the controller sends the instructions to the infrastructure layer, enabling the network devices to execute the desired configuration. This process ensures that the network is dynamic, adaptable, and easy to manage. You can manage your entire network from a single point, reducing the complexity. So you can quickly adapt to your network to meet the changing demands, which means that your network is agile now. So you don't need to have dependency on the proprietary hardware because of the standardization open protocols. As the controller is centralized now, so it enhances the security. So you can implement consistent policies across the network to improve overall security of your entire network. So then is network agility, which I have already mentioned. So you can quickly deploy new services and new applications, enabling you to have faster innovation in your organization. STN is, of course, ideal for various environments like data centers, cloud computing platforms, and even IoT networks, where rapid scaling and efficient resource management is extremely important. So software-defined network is transforming how we design, manage, and optimize the network. It brings unprecedented and flexible control to network administrators. As you already know, what is software-defined network? Let us continue to next lecture and understand what is software-defined network in Proxmox.